What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Investing with Paco. Today I will be doing a quick little recap on today's Evergrowth AMA. It was around eight or nine hours ago. So I will be discussing about important key details, items that you guys should be aware of. Just in case you didn't watch the AMA, you didn't listen in, or you haven't watched a recap video, this will give you a, a good gist of what happened. Um, it will only last around 45 minutes, so not really much was said. But what was said was super important and super bullish for the project, so stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. But before we get this video started, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. I upload videos like this almost every single day involving the cryptocurrency, financial market, and anything that will make us financially free in the future. I talk about it in this channel, so if you might be interested, hit the subscribe button and let's get this video started. Alright, so AMA, what was said, important key details that you should be aware of. Well, it did kind of touch briefly on marketing. Um, there was a good point uh, pointed out by Evergrowth Sam, which was there's no point on spending millions of dollars right now in uh, marketing campaigns for Evergrowth Coin if the whole broad cryptocurrency market, whole financial market is currently down. There's really no point of throwing money out there where we won't get a bigger ROI and bringing more investors into the project. What they're really waiting for is for a uplift, a rise in the cryptocurrency market. And in that point, it will make sense to start throwing more and more money into marketing and bring more and more investors into the project. And what's super kind of bullish and really cool that Evergrow, uh, Evergrow Sam mentioned briefly, he didn't really touch it that much since he said he's they're still in talks but they he did mention that he's in talks with the premier soccer league in europe so that's if you don't know what that is it's first division soccer over there in europe where they hold lots and lots of money lots of lots of investors that invest we're talking about millions and millions of dollars in soccer players soccer stadiums so this is super bullish if we if they could start sending campaigns out there in those stadiums because it brings thousands and thousands and thousands of people year year round in those stadiums just to watch that and not even to mention that all that is always televised through tv so imagine banners all across the soccer field uh, talking about Evergo coins so that's just a really cool idea that Evergo sam kind of threw out there super bullish and maybe that's one of the cool or one of the first things that they might end up doing in marketing we'll see but another thing that they kind of touched briefly on was on the safe moon partnership which was that safe moon swap exchange will need liquidity from evergrow coin in order to launch in their swap so they did mention he did mention that the way they're going to fund it won't affect none of us what they're going to end up doing they're going to use the core team members team wallets for liquidity meaning the coins they have in there and they're going to go ahead and send them over to safe moon swap exchange and that way it provides liquidity in that swap and it shouldn't affect none of us it, same tax rate should always apply since it's still going to be within the binance chain so super cool they kind of briefly touched on that and then he also mentioned that any profits which they have said time and time again so this is really not being new but it's just super important that he mentioned it was that any profits that were made from a utility will we always use for buyback and burn which is a super positive note so just in case you forgot buyback and burn is super huge in a project that is deflationary so super cool on that part and then also sam briefly said that Evergrowth coin is not a hype coin. There's lots and lots of meme coins out there, lots of hype coins out there that people could go out and make a quick buck or lose a lot of money. But what Sam wants to give us is a, he wants to give us a fundamental value instead of hype where price will reflect based on its fundamental value, based on its utility uses. 
um, meaning creator, all the utilities on creator, all that source of income will be for buyback and burn. We got NFT landing place, NFT marketplace. We got staking that will be coming out and we'll be also having that play in earn game. So all that is providing volume and all that's pretty buying source of income for buyback and burn, which is super important. So that way we could kind of pinpoint a price of Evergrowth coins like, okay, yes, that makes sense. That's why Evergrowth coin is priced at this because it has fundamental value to be appreciated into that price. Think about it more like in the equities market. There is a fundamental value towards each stocks. Some make sense, some don't, but it's super important. And it's probably why I'm super bullish in Evergrowth coin just because Sam, he actually does know his stuff since he does actually handle um in the real world stuff like this so super awesome in that part and they also he also went and mentioned um and briefly touched on creator what's going on they're still working on creator um <clears throat> they reason they want they don't want to rush creator the reason they haven't really released creator so far is mainly because first of all cryptocurrency market is still down and also they're going to start getting more and more influencers out um, that isn't involved in Evergrowth coin to try Crater. Um, that's why they want to make sure the Crater platform is the best it can be during launch because we, as we know, that can provide millions and millions of new users using Crater, meaning new source of income, meaning more buy back and burn. So that is why they're taking their time. But it will be released within quarter one. So anywhere from now, till the end of march so that is the first quarter so I expect creator release was in then and on the bright side at least it looks like bitcoin and ethereum is starting to rise back up from the dead bitcoin currently trading right about forty-two thousand, and ethereum currently trading right about three thousand. so so far so good hopefully they stay up like that next let's see they he did briefly mentioned that bit true will be starting to be finalized as we know that was they talked about that in the last ama that they were going to get launched at bit true exchange but there's some stuff that um they had to take care of but it looks like they are finally going to be finalized and that being said they they said was that they'll be able to use simplex to use to be able to use uh fiat to crypto exchange meaning you can use your fiat money to buy Evergrowth coin through simplex so super big on that which we already knew about that but it's just reassuring us that it is coming and then also mention that we'll release news very shortly on egc how egc and the metaverse will come together very soon he didn't really mention any more details in that part but super cool that we're going to have the metaverse and Evergrow coin together very, very soon. And then finally, Certec audit is underway. Super important for that Certec audit. And what they said was that they ended up picking the most expensive audit. Meaning they're going to go like the, the most expensive, the most in-depth audit that they can. to reassure investors, reassure pretty much anyone that buys Evergrow coin know that this is a legit project and has gone through all the ropes hoops and challenges to improve its coin so super important super bullish that they are going through a certain audit hopefully hopefully gives more confidence out there to more and more people to invest into evergrow coin and yeah i guess that's it that's pretty much the quick recap maybe i missed a couple things but those are the most important details that you guys should probably be aware of on Evergrow coin but before we get this video over with let's look at the price chart on Evergrow coin before we end this video <clears throat> currently we are trading right at five uh six zero seven four one five um we ended up breaking out of this resistance about a day or two ago and now currently trading in this channel trying to retest this resistance of seven six four six as you can see right here it did up trying to break out but got rejected towards back down to the support but now let's see if it will test this upper resistance level yet again but so far so good um price shouldn't really matter if you're in evergrow coin long haul but obviously don't take my advice it's not financial advice at all 
what I'm doing is just dollar cost averaging and just buy the dip whenever possible. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. Subscribe down here and go watch the video coming up next. And we'll catch you all next time. Peace.